Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. Today, I decided to make a run to Bojangles to try out their new um, barbecue pulled pork sandwich. And so, here I am with that. Now, Bojangles doesn't typically do a lot of items outside of... Um, here's what it looks like. They don't normally do a lot of items outside of chicken. Um, same for Chick-fil-A. They only do like breakfast things. And so um, this might be one of the only uh, lunch items that Bojangles does for non-chicken items. And also same can be said for uh, KFC, which I think they hardly have anything other than chicken. But anyways, um, not going to make this video too long, but felt like this was the most urgent review since it's like the most recent thing that's come out out of the things I'm planning on reviewing because I've got one more prime rib item from Hardee's another uh, breakfast biscuit bowl from Dairy Queen and a few other things that I don't have locally to review so this is something I feel like I could get maybe some views from but we will see but yeah, Bojangles doing barbecue sandwiches. Interesting. Oh, and I may be doing a review on uh, Dairy Queens as well, since that's been an item that they have on their menu locally. Um, it used to be like a mainstay. And I've never had it, but I've always been tempted to get it because the book, The Outsiders, one of them, I don't know if it was, all, all three of them, who, if you've read the book, you know, you might know some context. But like they went to Dairy Queen and they had barbecue sandwiches. So I was like, that's interesting. You know, I've never had a barbecue sandwich from there. But it's been on the menu on and off over the years. And uh, so I may try that at some point. I'm starting to get really hungry right now. But here's what the top of it looks like. It's got coleslaw. You can tell them you don't want coleslaw. But I felt like it, gave, it gives the best experience of their product. Um, just the full experience. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead and try that But yeah, before I get into this review go ahead and give this video a like a comment and a share Subscribe to my youtube channel if you don't already and uh, check out my instagram redneck snack and food So yeah, the bun's nothing fancy. Um, I don't, I don't think they have Fantastic buns here, but it is what it is. We're gonna try and judge it on the uh, barbecue for the most part and uh, Yeah, hopefully it's good Bojangles is not a bad place at all, but it's not my favorite. Of course, I would say I'd rather go to Chick-fil-A all day, every day, but or Popeye's all day, every day as well. But uh, ain't none of these places got barbecue, so let's see how this goes. Hmm. That's interesting. It's not bad. It's got... I think it's got its own unique flavor, you know? It's got a, a good, it's got a good barbecue flavor to it. It's not like super saucy. Um, but it has the flavor. Because you can instantly tell when something doesn't have when pulled pork doesn't have barbecue on it. Pulled pork without barbecue is really dry and not very flavorful. Um, but it is, pulled pork without barbecue is an enjoyable commodity, like pork butt. Um, when you throw that thing on a grill, put the whole pig on a grill, it's pretty good. Um, I think even just like pork without barbecue, but salt on it is really good. But no, this is this is actually really good. Um, they don't completely slather it in barbecue sauce. Which I would hate because I I just hate barbecue that's like completely slathered. But 
but it's not it's not the highest quality but it's better than my least favorite barbecue my least favorite barbecue there's this barbecue place from back home or not far from back home it's in north carolina and they just sell like pounds and pounds of throat frozen of their own frozen barbecue that stuff is just so generic and so awful to me like the flavor i think it's kind of vinegary if you ask me it may be a part of what but it's like the way it's processed it's like chopped up and it's really like what's the word um not chewy but it kind of tender but like mush it's kind of more mushy so it's not that was not mushy that it had a little bit of mushy aspect but it wasn't refined it wasn't coarse um i like my barbecue more sturdy but it, it was good and it held it out it held it holds it own, it holds it uh, it holds its own anyways um i'm gonna give it an eight because uh, it's not my favorite barbecue of all time of course a local barbecue joint would probably smoke this out the water but the bun was fine the barbecue tasted good i think it had some unique aspects to it um i think the sauce flavor did taste a bit different than my usual sauce flavor um which is good Ooh, interesting so i just watched the truck pull through the parking lot um you got a car i'm just saying an suv because i'm in the parking lot you got a truck that just speeds through the parking lot to get into the drive through line you got one that's like doing the right thing like driving around the whole building um to get in the line but i'm just like man that truck just sped on through he won't have none of that he won't he won't go wait behind nobody but anyways yeah so that was pretty good i was thinking about just getting the sandwich but I got some fries, so I'll be eating some fries after this. I'm still hungry. So you could probably, sandwich is like four something. You probably get a couple of them. Uh, the price is a little bit expensive. So I, I'm gonna give it an eight. I don't know if I already said that, but it's good, a little pricey, but I'd say it's 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 an enjoyable sandwich. Um, maybe they could have put some more barbecue on there too. Um, not barbecue sauce, but pulled pork is what I mean. Um, but overall, solid. Um, you know, where else do you want to get a bar you sandwich at? You know, that's my, it, like, a quick fast food place. Like, where where else has this? I don't think there's many. There's, like, there's places with pork, like the Mexican, like, themed restaurants. I don't know what, uh, Hardy, I mean, Arby's may have something, and Hardy's may too, but, um, I haven't done extensive research, but this is, this is pretty solid. So, if you're craving a barbecue sandwich this is, this is a good place to go but i will do a review for dairy queens at some point just for comparison but yeah that's my review and uh that's all i got for you today and we'll see when my next review is i thought i was going to take a break today but decided that this was worth uh reviewing so i hope to see y'all around next time and uh you know that's about it